the first ray diagram we're going to talk about is about the convex lens and here we're going to place the object beyond 2f1 so what is 2f1 the line the called as a principal axis somewhere over here i call as the optical center f twice of f which is f again 2f so this is f2 and this is 2f2 this is f1 and this is 2f1 so optical center and focus double the focus 2f focus double the focus so one and two clear great so how are we taking this two centimeters four centimeters two centimeters four centimeters take it okay now i'll complete the lens take three lines up take three lines down and complete this lens convex lens complete okay okay now where is the object kept beyond 2f wherever you want beyond 2f you can take up to two lines take two lines so what are the two different rays of light coming in the two different rays of light coming in are the first ray of light travels parallel to the principal axis and then it goes from here what's the next one it travels straight through the optical center and it meets here when you will draw this your meeting will be here which is between f2 and 2f2 so you will complete this by putting the arrow here and the arrow here call this as the lens and put the arrow here to show the direction of light put the arrow here to show the direction of light so i'm going to call this as a b and i'm going to call this as b a so just for convenience sake i'm going to call this as b dash a dash and this is a b b dash a dash so tell me position of the object is beyond 2f1 position of the object image is between f2 and 2f2 is that cool okay now what is the nature of the image the nature of the image is real it's on the opposite side so it's real and it's inverted ulta hai inverted and check the size this is diminished so it's a real image it's on the other side it's an inverted image remember real images are always inverted and of course check the size it's diminished position of the object where am i keeping my object this time on the principal axis of my convex lens i am keeping the object at position 2f1 so what is this position 2f1 i take the principal axis cool uh, step 1 is draw the straight line call this as the principal axis then i take markings at 0 2 4 6 8 this is my optical center my focus focus twice the focus focus twice the focus now just to distinguish between this focus and this focus i am writing it as 1 1 and this will be 2 2 so i take three lines up and take three lines down and i draw the lens what are the two rays of light which will pass from my object where is my object my object is here um two lines up i'm going to take the height of this to be two lines okay there are two types of rays which will come out from here the first ray will be parallel to the principal axis and then it will go through the focus okay the next ray of light will be going straight through the optical center undeviated so when this goes here this will bend through the focus and when this will go undeviated and it will go and meet here now in your case you will get this meeting exactly at this point in my case the the rays of light are wa wavering because i'm not using a scale i'm doing it free hand so you getting this this is my object this is my image what is the first ray of light parallel to the principal axis and then going through the focus what's my second ray of light passing straight through the optical center undeviated and going straight and meeting at this point this is my object and this is my image what is the position of the image the position of the image is at 2f2 what is the nature of the image the nature of the image is real it's a real image right it's on the other side of the lens it's real and it is ulta it is inverted it is inverted 
what is the size of the image the size of the image is same size it's same size so the height of the object is equal to the height of the image so once you do this you get a good two marks what did we miss you tell me we missed the direction of light one on either side of the lens you will do and this gives you a definite definite two marks one more thing you could add is that you could call this as a b and you could call this one as b a and again just to distinguish you can call it as a1 b1 and b2 2 is that okay so the next ray diagram in the convex lens that we're going to learn is position of the object i'm going to keep the object between my 2 f1 and my f1 so again a convex lens so i take the straight line that's my principal axis yeah children and i'm going to call this as my principal axis over here and i start the marking 0 2 4 6 8 what is this optical center focus focus and what is this twice the focus and twice the focus you're going to take a proper pencil and pen scale and do it according to the marking and you'll get much better image than what i'm doing now this is your lens three lines up and three lines down you understand when i say three lines right uh, these are the lines that goes on your book so, so three lines up and three lines down that's how you will do the lens now let's place the object where am i going to place the object the question says between 2f1 and f1 so to distinguish between the focus on the left and the right i'm going to call this as one and this as two <coughs> so where am i keeping the object i'm keeping it anywhere between this yeah so i'm going to keep it anywhere here the height of this object is two lines so what's the first ray of light that comes out? The first ray of light that comes out is straight, parallel to the principal axis, and then it goes straight through the focus. Where's the next ray of light coming out? The next ray of light comes out straight from here, goes through the optical center, undeviated, and it goes straight, straight, and it meets here. You will notice that it meets at a point here, which is beyond 2F. So this is my object, and this is my image. Yeah, this is my object and this is my image. I call this as my lens and I'm going to begin to call this as AB. The object is AB and this is going to be BA. Just maybe B dash, A dash and BA. Okay, so where is the position of the image? The position of the image is beyond what? 2F2. What is the nature of the image? The nature of the image, it's real image and it's an inverted image. Why is it real? Because it's on the other side of the lens and it's inverted because, yeah, it's formed below the x-axis. It's inverted here above the x-axis is real. Now, what is the size of the image? Now, you can see that this size and this size, this is bigger. So the size is magnified. Now, I want you to remember at this point in time. At this point in time, I want you to remember when the position of the object, when it was beyond 2F1. When it was beyond 2F1, where was the image formed? When it was beyond 2F1, the image was formed between F and 2F. Now over here, the object is kept between F1 and 2F1. So the image is formed beyond 2F. So when you keep it beyond this point, it's formed between these point. You getting this? So come on, take your scale, your pencil, your paper and do this exactly the same way. The next ray diagram of a convex lens when the position of the object is kept at F1. So again, the straight line, which is your principal axis and you take zero, two, four six and eight optical center focus focus twice the focus twice the focus we do this each time one one and two two by now you've got a grip of this and what is this the principal axis you'll write down over your principal axis take three lines up take three lines down and you make your lens you call this as your lens where are you keeping the object here the object is kept exactly at f two lines two lines f what are the two rays of light that comes 
the two rays of light the very first one travels parallel to the principal axis goes through the focus and goes straight undeviated and the other one goes straight straight from the optical center it goes now if you observe carefully these rays of light are more or less parallel you know what it means they are parallel they will go 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 and meet somewhere in infinity it will go and meet somewhere at infinity so this is my object where's my image my image is at infinity and if you remember that ray of diagram which we had drawn remember this ray diagram which we had drawn where the rays of light were coming from infinity where were they meeting they were meeting at the focus now over here what's happening the rays of light are coming from the focus so obviously it will meet at infinity you're getting a hang of it right so where is the position of the image the position of the image is at infinity now what is the nature of the image the nature of the image is again real it's on that side it's real and it's inverted what is the size of the image the size of the image is highly magnified it's highly magnified you can call this as a b and that's the ray diagram when the object is kept at f1 of a convex lens the ray diagram of the convex lens is when the object is placed between the focus and the optical center on the left hand side okay so i've got this pre-done over here so this is my lens i'm going to get the lens ready and this is again the focus, twice the focus, focus and twice the focus. Now where am I keeping the object? I'm keeping the object exactly between these two points, wherever uh, is convenient, anywhere over here. So let's say I'm keeping it over here. Now the moment I keep it over here, uh, the first ray of light is something which will travel parallel to the principal axis and go from the focus. Uh, what's the next ray of light? It's something which will go from here from the optical center now definitely you see these two are not converging in any way they're not even parallel in the previous case you saw that they were parallel here they're not parallel on the contrary they are diverging over here so what do you do you pull this back behind in dotted form in the same line now, this line should be a straight line and likewise you pull this also straight from here you pull it behind it meets at a particular point wherever it meets that's where the image is now the image and these lines are both dotted this is your object and this is your image now this is your object and this is your image you see the image is magnified size of the image is magnified position of the image what is the position of the image here you will write down it's on the same side as that of the object what is the nature of the image but the nature of the image for the very first time it's erect it's above the x-axis it's erect it's not inverted and it is virtual it's not real so real images are images which are formed on the other side when the image and the object are on the other side it is called as a real image real images are always always inverted because a real image is on the other side of a lens and when it's on the other side it's inverted so real images are always inverted and the opposite of real is virtual because it's on the same side virtual virtual images are always erect this time it's a virtual image and therefore it's an erect image now here it's magnified you this is an important diagram you must do this practice it at least three times till you get a good grip of this now sometimes uh, sometimes when you draw this this may come too far away and ye shayad paper ke bahar bhi jayega. so what should you do play around with it to know iska size thoda kam kar lo ye do line mat lo isko ek line leke dekho agar ye aapka barabar baitta hai kya right so you may sometimes get this out of the image but according to me this should not come out of the image out of the page and it should fit in the same page Let's take a quick revision, a recap of everything that we did. The first one we did is when the rays of light are coming from infinity. So when they come from infinity, where do they meet? They meet at the focus. You remember this? So this is what position of the object was where? It was at infinity. Now, this is the ray diagram also to show that a convex lens is a converging lens. So what was the position of the image here? It was at focus. What was the nature of the image? 
and what was the size of the image? The size of the image is diminished, right? Because at infinity, it's big. It's as big as the stars. And over here, it's diminished. Highly, highly diminished over here. But Highly diminished over here. And what is the nature of the image? It's on that side, therefore it's real. And it's again that side, therefore it is inverted. So let's get closer to it now. Now what happens when I'm keeping the position of the image beyond 2F1? Matlab par. So what happened? I pushed the ray of light. It comes from the focus. It goes from the optical center. It is meeting between these two points. Now, of course, I'm not using the scale and pencil, which is revising. It's meeting between these two, between F2 and 2F2. What's the nature? Nature of the image kya hai? The nature of the image is again that side, real and inverted. What's the size of the image? The size of the image over here is diminished. It's a little smaller than this. It's diminished here. So get closer. Now I'm keeping it over here at 2F. When I keep it at 2F, I get it at 2F. When I keep it between F and 2F, I get it beyond F, beyond 2F. So this is where I get it here. This is where I get it here. When I keep it on F, I get it at infinity. And when I keep it between F and 2F, what happens? It it diverges here and I pull it back, I pull it back and I get it over here. So, so revise all of the six where you'll mention the nature, the size and you will know. According to me, if they ask you something in the examination, they should ask you this and they should ask you this because this is different. Hatke. Maybe they could even ask you this. Now, if they ask you anything of these three, then you're just lucky because you just know them, know them, right? Now, tricky. This is tricky because you got to be right getting it on the page. Keep the measurements flowing with you and, and you should get these images on the page straight. It's a clear two mark. Every ray diagram should have the arrow. One on the left hand side of the lens, one on the right hand side of the lens. Every ray diagram, you'll mention this is the lens. Put the arrow on both sides in each of them. Call this as a principal axis. Put an arrow here, put an arrow there. Do not forget any of these parameters. Always mention position of the image, nature of the image, size of the image. Now, you don't write po, poi, noi and soi. You write the full form, position of the image, nature of the image and size of the image. Put this in a box and you're good to go to get an easy two mark.